And friends of the man who's accused in a deadly shooting at a homecoming party near Greenville plan to protest tonight. 23 year old Brandon Gonzalez is charged with capital murder, but his supporters say that he is innocent. Our Caroline Vandergriff joining us live from Greenville this evening with that side of the story. Caroline? A few of those supporters have just started to show up. The rally is expected to start here in about 15 minutes. They want Gonzalez's release from jail, but investigators say they are confident he is the gunman. We know that it's not his type of character to do something like this. Brandon Gonzalez made his first court appearance today. His family says they're shocked to see him in an orange jumpsuit. Gonzalez has no prior criminal history. He has his head strong. He go to work. He do what he's supposed to do. He don't bother nobody. They don't believe the charges against him. Gonzalez is accused of opening fire at a Texas A&M Commerce off-campus homecoming party Saturday night. Two 23-year-old men, Byron Cravens and Kevin Barry, were killed, and six others shot. They have information they say he did. We have information, information that he didn't. Court documents give new insight on what led to Gonzalez's arrest. Authorities say a credible eyewitness came forward who was certain without a doubt that Gonzalez murdered Barry and Cravens. That witness said it appeared Gonzalez was intending to kill because he pointed his gun at people's heads. Investigators say they were able to back up the witness's account with other evidence, though the gun used in the shooting still hasn't been found. Gonzalez's supporters just don't buy it. Not really having full evidence, don't have no gun, don't have nothing else. Would you really throw away a man like because you're trying to help get the case over with? Tonight's protest is meant to be a time of prayer as well. Gonzalez's supporters plan to take tomorrow night off since it's Halloween, but they'll be back here Friday and Saturday nights to continue to show their support. Live in Greenville, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. Caroline.